Okay, so we're going to continue tweaking our metalness map using um, the same brushes as before, um, just on a smaller scale, so we can really get that fine detail in there. I mean, we might as well because um, we're using such a large kind of texture for this. And one thing I really want to do here is make sure that you know we've got some more kind of variation and break up in each section. So a bit more kind of similar to our reference. Well, obviously, one thing we did before was make sure that uh, the, you know, this wasn't going to look too bad relative to the UVs. So it's worth checking the UVs every now and then, just to see what's going on with that. Um, and I don't mind too much with that. I don't think that's looking too bad. So let's try saving that out again. And same process as before, duplicate group. Merge these down with Control E. Control A to select all. Control C to copy. Turn that off. Hold Alt and click on your mask and Control V to paste. And then do File. File Save As. And save this over your. Albedo. And there we go, I'd say I prefer that a lot better, so I think that's kind of the rough style I'm going to go with for the rest of this. Um, one little thing actually, I might as well show you just a little little hack you might consider, consider doing. Um, what you can do just to duplicate that group, deselect off there. And then if you just do edit, transform, flip horizontal, and you can actually just drag that kind of roughly into place along there. I mean, what you'd obviously want to do is, uh, well for a start we need to delete off this half of any layers like so, to make sure that it's not going over our old one, which it is for some reason. Oh, that's because of the slayer, obviously. We'll just delete that out. And then um, we've got slightly different UVs here, so what we'll want to do is make sure we paint that in correctly as well. But this can just be useful for a start, it's just to maintain kind of consistency for one thing. So um, we we'll just paint this bottom bit out here. And we'll do the same in here. So the one thing you now know is, like, when you resume like painting this, this you know you've got a much better chance of matching the. Um, the style. So I'm just going to make a new layer here and increase the size a little bit, just like we did when we originally like painted this on the other side. And we'll paint over some of this here because we obviously we want variation compared to the compared to the last one. So even though I haven't lined it up properly, I don't really mind. And we're going to end up painting over most of this. Oh, anyway, it's more just the trying to make sure we get that complete kind of consistency in style.
Okay, so now I'll add a mask to this layer. And just the same thing we did before, just paint out some of these sections. Obviously we've still got our old layer in there, so what I might do if I just do control E and do preserve and we'll just merge those down into one layer like that actually. So just I'll just show you how I did that. So just select both of them and do control E like that and that will collapse the mask and the layers into one nice big layer like that. And then you can either add a new mask in or just kind of paint bits out. So make sure you're selected on our new mask and we'll just carry on painting bits out of this. So I'll carry on doing this then and come back to you when that's finished. Okay, so we've just about finished painting the metalness map now. So um, what we have is our metalness map is split into two sections. So I've got the first section we did, which was that, and the second one, which was that. Um, I haven't quite painted all the kind of slight paint wear onto this just yet but um, it's pretty much there like the underside of the model we're never going to see it anyway so um, you know, I'm kind of tempted just to leave that for this this example of course you guys can paint that in as you see fit okay so our albedo as well is just a metalness map see I've got a copy of it here and that's just pasted into my um, aluminium layer Okay, so here's our current result. It's a nice kind of paint chip effect going on. And obviously, as we can see before, we've got a different reflection effect where it's metal compared to where it's painted metal. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do real quick is just get this onto our normal map. So let's open up our loops normal. Um, so you should have baked this out for the previous tutorial, but if not, I'll have included this in the on the Moodle page and in the resources for you to use. So all we should really need is this black and white image here. So we'll select this and we'll duplicate this onto our loops normal map. So you can see now that's on there. Then we'll load up Endo and we'll convert this into a normal map. So you can see what it's done initially. I mean, the first thing we need to do is just change this to down. So obviously the paint chip wearing away is gonna, um, the paint is gonna sit higher up than the metal underneath. So I'll put the size right down. Obviously this only needs to be subtle. And if we zoom in, we'll also probably say that that's looking a little bit. Probably needs to be a little bit softer. So normally the good two to try for that will be, yeah, that one doesn't look too bad. Maybe we'll increase the softness a little bit and put the depth down even further. Um, you can try some of these as well, like, mm, I think we'll probably stick with that. Okay, so once that's done, um, I mean you should be able to set the blend mode to overlay, but that doesn't seem to quite work. So what we'll do is just select the normal and do Control e to convert it into normal map and just close Endo. And then we'll duplicate this, do two copies, and do our standard routine of 
50% grey in our blue channel and on our second copy in the white and the red channel we drop white sorry in the red and the green channel we drop white so the blue version we set to overlay and the white version we set to multiply so let's just save this out for now and we'll call this paint chips N so we'll load in our new normal map We can see that's probably a bit too excessive. Although we obviously we haven't controlled our gloss yet, so that might make a big difference once we've got that in there. So um, let's just turn this down slightly for now. Anyway, we'll put it down to say seventy percent. And file, save that out again. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is a real quick uh, roughness map. So we'll do File New, and we'll again go back to our paint chips there where we've got our metal on this map, and we can use this to kind of help with our initial roughness map. So we'll right click, duplicate layer, and put this onto Untitled One, like so. And then we'll remember we'll need to go to our Don't Nod chart and think right so we've got aluminium and think what kind of roughness we're going to want for that we know it's metallic so maybe we'll go for something say 0.4 here so I've gone back to a previous version so I need to remember to flip this like so so if I do want that 0.4 result it's actually going to be more equivalent to say 0.6 so make a new layer and fill in with that and then control A and control C on our mask layer select layer 1 and apply a new mask and do alt left click on the layer and then control V to paste into the mask so you can see that's our roughness value for our aluminium. I mean, you might um, feel free to have a more reflective value in there. It's totally up to you guys what you want to use. And in terms of the painted metal, maybe we'll go for something like a 0.5, something like that. And so for that one, add another new layer and just put that beneath the steel one and the aluminium one and just paste that in. You can name these of course if you want. So metal roughness. And paint roughness. Obviously this is going to change a lot. This is just an initial initial test for it anyway, so so paste that in there, paint chips are. Save that out and then load that into here. Um, do the usual thing of changing our sky map. Okay, so we've got quite a lot left to do. We still need to paint the roughness map properly, add those roughness details, any big ones into the uh, normal map, and into and some more detail in the albedo map, so maybe just a bit of paint fade as well. So that's what we're going to do next. But you can see we've not made a, a bad, bad start to this.